Now, are you someone who struggles with early extension in your swing? And what I mean by early extension is, as we look at your impact position, are you moving your hips towards the golf ball rather than staying in your posture and completing your swing? Now, this can be caused by multiple factors, uh, one of which is just a, an ingraining of a swing patterning, uh, which can happen for people as they grow up and as kids, they just need to develop a lot of power in their swing by using their legs and extending their hips forwards. Now, if that's you, obviously swing coaching is gonna be a really good thing uh, to help with this, uh, to give you some drills, tips, cues, uh, whatever it might be in order to help you move away from those positions. Uh, now the second reason this could be is uh, through tight hips or poor mobility um, or other mobility restrictions and issues. Now that's what I'm talking to today in this video and uh, one of the things that we can work on there is obviously improving your mobility and improving your rotation so that we don't have to extend, we can actually rotate through the ball. So a few exercises that I like to use for clients who are in this position uh, with poor hip mobility, uh, they might have poor lumbar uh, mobility as well. The first exercise which we're going to go through is uh, just a simple pelvic tilting. So that's where we're going to take our hips and our pelvis from this extended position or spine arched and then we're going to flatten it out so holding onto the golf club or pushing down into the golf club we're going to arch the back out as far as we can and then we're going to tilt the pelvis underneath so this is a cat camel stretch essentially but in a standing position and the reason we're doing this is because we're taking the lumbar spine through flexion and extension and both of these positions are required if we're going to reach a really good impact position not have our hips going towards the target we're actually going to rotate through through the golf ball as we hit the golf ball now uh, the second stretch that we want to look at is our hips or uh, mobility exercise i should say is for our hips and we want to get those rotating freely through internal and external rotation so one of my favorite ones for that and we can do this either uh, kneeling or we can do it standing uh, the first one is going to be standing uh, and it's just standing hip circle so if i'm going to do uh, the mobility exercise on my right leg i'm going to start with my left hand on the golf club and pushing my left hand into the ground and then from here raising my knee up in front big circle around to the side and trying to draw picture that I have a crayon extending out of my knee and I'm trying to draw the biggest circle possible with my knee as I go around so taking the right hip here through internal and external range of motion forwards and backwards now uh, we'd obviously repeat that for both sides the other variation of this one uh, is a kneeling position so the kneeling one i find a little bit tougher because it's reducing uh, the amount of room in which we have to move because we don't have that big area for our legs to be rotating around we need to actually have our leg be fairly mobile and a little bit of strength in our leg in order to stay up in this position and you'll see that i lean over to the side a little bit in a perfect world you'd just be nice and uh, nice and straight nice and upright and then doing your big circles without any lean to the side. Uh, obviously, if you want to go for A plus marks, you would take away that stick, which I haven't done before. Yeah, but going through, whoop, the same thing again. I need a little bit of stability there, a little bit of balance. Uh, but that would be A plus or, or gold star if you can manage to do that without uh, the golf club. Now, the last exercise we're going to do uh, is hip internal rotation. And this one's really big because essentially as we go, or as we rotate into our backswing, we're internally rotating our hip. And as we extend uh, or go through the impact position into our downswing, we're internally rotating the front hip. So we're turning into that front hip. So with this one, might be hard on some ranges if you're not in a beautiful place like uh, Port Royal here, like I am. Uh, but essentially setting up our feet at about 45 degree angle out to the side. We're going to rotate our hips in, touching the ground with your knee, and then onto the other side. Now a lot of people get bent around the axles with this one, uh, you know, saying, should I be doing this if I can't, you know, keep my bum cheek on the ground, touching the ground with my knee, uh, that sort of thing. It doesn't really matter to be honest. So long as you can feel that stretching into the hip, and I can even feel that in my glutes, my glutes driving my knee into the ground. If they come off the ground a little bit, that's perfectly fine. And if it, to be honest, if it allows you to get a little bit further into that stretch, in order to get your knee to touch the ground, taking your, your butt cheek off the floor uh, is not a big problem at all. So there you go, there's 
uh, actually four exercises um, that you can work on to improve early extension or just to get your body moving better so that you can rotate through the ball so that you're not reaching that you know really ugly early extended position which is going to force uh, a few different shot shapes like a block if you're a right hander because we don't close the club face on the way through uh, if you're timing it well you might hit a nice tight draw uh, or if you're timing it really poorly and you're getting really handsy because your hips extend and you're getting really handsy turning it over uh, you might even experience a bit of a duck hook when you're hitting it poorly so um, if you like this video just starting out uh, with putting these videos up that are a little bit more in depth into explaining some of the um, you know exercises involved in uh, just moving the body better for certain swing faults or swing characteristics that might come up uh, share it with your friends uh, give me a like um, subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll be posting more of these videos uh, and also comment as well and let me know what things you struggle with uh, whether you've used some of these exercises before uh, or whether you have some other ones that you'd like me to do